Hey YouTube verse. Today we've got this old Epson laptop. I uh, looked it up. It's circa 90. It was sold, I believe, between 95 and 96. Uh, April 95 to September 96. Um, it's been through multiple hands. The sale of this to collectors or as parts has already been attempted as two uh, by two individuals. So I'm just going to disassemble it so we can see what's inside. Um, just exploring part of it, the plastics crack, cracking under my hands. Like when I took this battery cover off, plastic fell away. Um, well, of course it'll fall away if I do that too, but um, there's battery in there, um, old laptop cards, I forget what they call these, I want to say like PCM, right there, PCMCIA, uh, so cards, so this was a 28.8 or 14.4 modem, modulator, and demodulator. We'll have to dig into that in, in another video. So that's our first pull. As you can see, eight megabytes of RAM and a 340 megabyte hard drive. Truly, um, Truly really something impressive. Um, let's see, it is a. Wasn't even rough handling it. It is a Action Note 660CX. So, Epson Action Note. Get the light in there. So, yeah. Um, so, yeah, let's dig in. Um, probably going to start with the bottom. Of electric, but... Um, feel like it might just strip the screws, give up my ability to bite into them. Ooh, this one's already, somebody's already been at this one. Okay, well, got it to turn. Bet you heard that too, got, got the plastic to crack though. <laughs> oh well, on to the scrap pile it goes. Let's see, I'm guessing this is the hard drive, maybe? Um, there we go. Interesting. Is it copper? Yeah, it's actually copper. Wow. See that? I, I leaned my finger against it. And the, uh, yeah, it's just plastic with a, with a light layer of copper. No. Mm. Yeah, that's what I mean when I say the plastic's falling apart. It's just, I wasn't even applying, meaning to apply force. My fingers were just being lazy. Um, I got some new sets of bits since most of my other bits were stripped. Okay, well, yeah, that's a really small Torx. Okay, oh, well, let's do it by hand.
Well, I think that was supposed to come off, but not break like that. Anyways. Let's get this out of the way. Oh wow, it's got a ribbon of some. It's got a. Oh, the board's separating from the. Oh, those three screws weren't holding the board, the drive in, they were holding the board in. Okay. Let's see, what do we have here? Some MLCCs, yellow tantalum. I think those orange ones are tantalums. Uh, four side flat pin flat packs, two side memory modules probably. S1. I wonder if that's a S though, yeah. It's pins, circa 1995, so good pins. Board is completely one-sided, nothing on the back. <sighs> Interesting. I made the connection from <clears throat> these pins here. Um through the, the slots here. Interesting. Interesting. Alrighty, well, that's a little treasure grove. Okay, so back to Don't drop the screwdriver. It's two for two today. Luckily, only one of them was powered. The other one. It is a little more forgiving. Let's see. Okay, another plastic plate with some vents. Yeah, vent holes. Okay, it's aluminum. Assume it's aluminum. Sheets. Doesn't want to bend up. Doesn't want to come out. Um, let's see. More pieces of plastic. There's a oh. That's interesting. This is just. Plexi glass, three, three sheets that have been bonded together as like a, a size space insert for the hard drive to rest. I wonder if this is the original hard drive. Um, Tachi hard disk. I'd have to look up the model, the DK221 Alpha-34. But it doesn't look like a modern hard drive with a complete and total lack of details that are on it. Okay. So yes, there is a screw here. I'll admit, when I looked up the uh, sales history on this, I looked at the, the Quick Specs PDF, got an inkling of an idea of where the screws are that need to be taken apart. 
<laughs> Let's play the game. How many times in this scrap session will I drop a screwdriver? drive ribbon cable. To bend that little space. Likely good gold plating on those pins. Um, Some kind of connector module board, gold pins on both sides of these, kind of like quick connect slot ins, black and uh, a black uh, tantalum capacitor, two rather old thick uh, ICs or memory memory chips. Well, more pieces of 25 year old plastic breaking. Pretty sure that's aluminum. I don't have any, I do have a magnet handy. Ah, it's a heat sink. Okay. Interesting. There was this heat sink sitting atop thermal paste, which is sitting atop aluminum film. Resting upon the CPU, I believe. So we're going to here and here. That's long. Yeah. Pretty sure that's the CPU. A little floppy. Okay, well that just broke. Was it trying to break it? But 
I'll take it. I'll make this easier. Okay. Battery. Let's see. Battery out. I'm pulling more than I'm grabbing because I have no faith in the plastic not breaking. Wow, that's fairly heavy. Nickel metal hydride, hydride apparently, battery. This is why people aren't going to sell it. Just you touch the thing and um, is this removable? Sort of. Okay, well, I'm going to presume it's not removable. Okay. Have our left screws there. Really want to take apart the monitor if I can avoid it. keyboard uh, separate this cable gets me a silver mylar um, gets me the keyboard which I'll put up here um, This, okay, no, well, maybe that wasn't the mouse. This is going to be the mouse um, attachment. I wonder what this was. Battery contact points, maybe? No. Oh, I'd have to look at the battery. Let's see. Yep, battery contact points. Okay. Okay. That riddle solved. Okay. Cables. Is that attached or not? Okay, I guess it's attached. Okay, well, fine. Not what I was trying to do, but. I think at this point, the plastic is just so far gone. Anything I try to do, okay. The speaker, I don't care about. Um, a little forward for the other mouse button. Okay. Well, that's a lot of damaged plastic. Alrighty.
How is this still attached? Where is this still attached? Got these, but I don't know if they're actually holding because the, they go through the plastic. They're not holding the plastic. Um, um, let's see. Um, there's more piece of plastic continue to fall out. Okay. Okay. Might be worth taking that apart compared to a modern floppy, maybe. Silver fingers on the ribbon cable. Find old cutting boards make the best scrapping surfaces. Pro saves my, my de uh, workbench top from untold. Okay, so I should probably get this out. Free monitor. Does that count? I wasn't a screwdriver, but I did drop it. Um, okay.
pieces of plastic just sloughing off. Um, yeah. Kind of want to get this free. Why isn't it? Over here, there's a there's a point where it's attached. Oh, I think I found it. Oh, I think I also rendered the search moot at this point, but. LCD screen. I'll probably give you status updates or something. Battery. It's that monitor. And debating if I want to go any further. I might get the fingerboard, but I want to leave the actual housing intact. This is the screw I was missing. One of the screws. So this was the swivel and attachment point between the main body and the monitor. Okay. This was the battery board, okay, that I cut off. Explains why that gold is so dark. Or I should say deep. I don't know what the correct word is for it. Have some memory ICs, a couple of flat packs, encased crystal oscillator. That's interesting. Is that plastic? Feels like plastic. Yeah, plastic. Plastic heat sink. For a couple of tantalum capacitors. That's something you don't see every day. That's interesting. Ah, uh, it's exactly opposite of where I think the main CPU is. Okay, so that's secondary heatsink for the main CPU to help disappoint, dissipate some heat. So keyboard, mouse, monitor, parallel port. This was before USB. Don't know if you guys remember back then, but you would have your like zip drive, depending on what year it was. And then you would have your printer. Well, usually your printer or your webcam, if you had one, would be your last device in a node. And you would just have two to five devices just daisy chained, one from the other, like the old SCSI bus systems. Um, so, yeah. 
So I'm wondering if this CPU was soldered in, it might have been. Gonna have to get the heat gun to get that free. So let's see. Does this come up? Come off. Oh, uh, quick connection. I think that's tantalum. Uh, the orange ones. Uh, two yellow plastic tantalums. Nice, interesting little card. And then I'm guessing this is soldered. Nope, it's pulling out. Okay. Uh, I think it's a 486. But I'm not a 100% sure about them. I'm trying to keep the legs as nice as possible. Wow, yeah, I remember refurbing these and selling 486s of the penny saver. Copyright USA 1993 Citrix. Okay, then separating it. Without slicing my fingers off. Always, you know, always useful. It took quite a bit longer to free the CPU from the heat sink. So we're going to go ahead and wrap up the video here. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. If you have any interesting ideas for e-waste videos, please let me know and have a wonderful day.